I'm from Chapel Hill, North Carolina, and we represent Orange County. We're the real OC. It's a college town and part of a great region of the Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill market. And our economy is very much based on innovation um, and seeking out new opportunities, capitalizing on university research. And it's an exciting place to be, an exciting place to grow a company. The Research Triangle region has its history in, in bio and pharma uh, and is now really moving into the space of clean tech. In fact, we rank second only to the San Francisco area in terms of clean tech jobs. And so we're seeing some neat stuff come out of our universities, Duke University, North Carolina State, and UNC Chapel Hill. Really innovative, uh, and it's attracting companies from across the country to grow and start in our region. While solar is growing in our region, we're also finding companies exploring new ways to do clean tech. And mostly they are motivated by the bottom line. How are they going to grow jobs? How are they going to reduce the cost of operations? There are several mega trends really pushing small business to figure this out. The customer cares, the employee cares, uh, and then it's good for their bottom line. We need to look out, put our periscope up and see what's out on the horizon, and then provide that information back to small business to help them thrive. We did it uh, with the technology revolution, when small business had no computers, or when the internet came along. Well, clean energy and clean tech and, and solar, all of that's the same. So it's the responsibility of their chamber of commerce to help them figure it out, to help them align themselves with it, and then to help them uh, both make money and save money. I think as Chambers of Commerce, we have a responsibility to lead. We are the organizations most plugged into our community, most aware of our community's needs, but also the broader need of communities. Our history is of leadership, of being on the cutting edge of things, of helping communities, whether it's transportation or education or now clean energy. And so I'm excited to be part of a chamber movement across the country that is helping small and mid-sized enterprise figure out how to thrive in this new economy, how to embrace clean energy, and for chambers of commerce to really lead.